everyone, it's me, Roxanne, and I'm back with a brand new video featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, I'll be showing you how to use the twin needle function on this machine. I'll show you how to install the twin needle, how to thread the machine for using the twin needle, how to thread the needles, the proper uh, presser foot to use, and all the different stitch options that are available to use with the twin needle. So let's get into it now. Before I show you how to install the needle, I want you to go ahead and turn your machine on and then make sure that your needle is at its highest position by pressing the needle down button and the needle up. Now you know that when you go ahead and insert your twin needle that it's at its highest position and that's where you want it to be to start. For this demonstration, I'll be using Singer brand twin needle that came in a package with another uh, one of my Singer sewing machines. And this is Singer brand 2025 twin needle. But I've also used Schmentz twin needles in this machine with no problems. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Singer brand needle, which is what they suggest that you use in the manual. So with all twin needles, there are two needles attached to one post. And the post has a flat side, just like any other needle, that you'll want to position towards the back. So notice that I do not have a presser foot on my machine right now, and my machine is powered on. Let's go ahead and place the needle up into the shaft. Make sure it's pushed all the way up and then tighten it on. When using the twin needle, the manual suggests using presser foot A, which is your general purpose sewing foot, or presser foot B, which is your clear plastic presser foot. These are both snap-on feet and very easy to install. I've decided that I'm going to use presser foot B because I'd like to demonstrate a couple of decorative stitches and this foot has a depression on the bottom which allows it to float over some of the dimensional stitches that I'll be using for this demonstration. I've also gone ahead and inserted my bobbin in a contrasting color so that when you um, see my stitches you'll know exactly which thread is the bobbin thread. Now I'm going to install this presser foot and place it underneath and lower my presser foot bar and it snaps right on. Now I'm going to show you how to thread the machine for using a twin needle. You're going to start off as usual and thread your first spool on with its spool cap and place it down into position and then thread as you normally would. Just like that, like you normally would thread your machine. Then for the second spool, you're going to use your auxiliary spool pin and felt and place it in a little hole up here. And then insert your second spool onto the machine and thread that thread as usual. Now, instead of coming down to this last thread guide, you're going to leave this one, which is going to be your right needle. You're going to leave that one loose and the one that is in the very last thread guide is going to be your left needle. Now you need to thread the needles. Now I'm going to go ahead and thread the twin needle and I'm going to use my little tool that I thread my needles with. There's the right needle. Keep in mind my presser foot is up now. And then here is my left needle. There it is. This little needle threader really saves my eyes. Now you're going to pick up your bobbin thread by pressing the needle up, needle down button. 
pull that bobbin thread up, place all your threads to the back, and put your bobbin cover, which fell behind there, back on your machine. Now you won't be able to use your needle threader here and you shouldn't use your cutter with the twin needle either. Here I am in front of the front panel of the sewing machine and I'd like you to press this button which is the twin needle button function. And you'll notice that a twin needle icon will appear in your LCD screen. This machine has the capability of using all the stitch patterns included in the machine except numbers 101, which is the eyelet stitch, 102 and 103, which are repair or darning stitches, and 104 to 116, which are all your different buttonhole functions. All the additional stitches in this machine are able to be used with a twin needle. By pressing the twin needle function, the machine will automatically reduce the stitch width of whatever pattern you're trying to create. I'm going to go ahead and select a decorative stitch, which is number 71, the serpentine stitch for my demonstration. If you press the button directly below the zigzag and straight stitch, that will show you the length of your stitch and the width of your stitch. And you can see that it's set up for 5.0. Here I am in front of the bed of the sewing machine and I have my regular poly cotton woven blend and I also have a piece of stabilizer underneath. It's always a good idea when doing any kind of decorative stitching to have stabilizer underneath your fabric. So now I'm going to start off with uh, the decorative stitch that I had set up, number 71, and I have my stitch set up at a moderate speed. I'm gonna put my presser foot down, press my start stop button, and there my pattern is stitching. Now I'm going to lengthen my stitch as I sew. And look at how nice the twin needle stitches the serpentine stitch. It starts out very small stitch length here, and then I increase slowly until it was a long wavy stitch. Now I have the machine set up to stitch number 29, which is a scallop stitch. I'm gonna place my presser foot down. And once again, I'm going to lengthen my stitch, and it will only go to 2.0. Not all stitches are able to be edited in all different widths and lengths. And there, you can see how nice those scallops look. Now I'm going to go ahead and stitch out a few different stitch patterns and show you the result. So here are some of the stitch patterns that I ended up stitching out with the twin needle to show you how nice they look. I tested many, many more stitches than this, and I wasn't really thrilled with the way every one of them stitched out, but it does tell you that the quality will vary in the manual as to which stitches look better. Some will look better and some won't. And this is what the back looks like. I want you to keep in mind that since you have one bobbin thread sewing two top threads, many times your stitches will be very tight because you have that one bobbin thread floating between the two upper threads. So I didn't change uh, my tensions at all and I didn't really feel like I needed to, uh, but that's always an option for you. So I hope you'll play around a little bit with these uh, different stitches and see what you come up with. There are infinite options available with this machine with stitch patterns, different lengths, different widths. Just make sure that when you're stitching that you uh, notice 
that your needle isn't coming too close to your presser foot. You don't want to have an accident and break your needle or damage your machine in any way. So thanks for stopping by today and watching my new video featuring the Singer Quantum Stylist 9960 and how to use the twin needle option. I think this is a very cool option and I'm going to be exploring different ways that I can use the twin needle in my projects, whether it be for decorative stitching or for top stitching. So if you found this information helpful, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and give me a like and drop any comment down below and I'll answer any of your questions or give me an idea for a future video. So as always, have a happy creative day. Bye now.